सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू वाइज डाइट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद द टॉपिक ऑफ रीजनलिज्म यस रीजनलिज्म एज द बेसिक कंसेप्ट द टाइप्स द फॉर्म्स द रीजनलिज्म इन इंडिया द काइंड्स ऑफ रीजनलिज्म इन इंडिया whether uh, it is good for india or not whether regionalism is a threat to india and if it is so how we can differentiate between regionalism and terrorism regionalism and federalism and so on so in this lecture we will be having a full idea about regionalism in india so again a reminder to download the wise is app from the google play store or apple app store this is what we provide so starting with the term regionalism as the name in itself suggest you it is uh, centered around a word that is region so one must have to be clear about the various dimensions uh, that where the regionalism or the idea behind the regionalism revolves as a geographical unit the area is defined from uh, it is different from each other area a is different from area b there is much difference in the geographical aspect the part which is social system that reflects the relationship between the different human beings and the groups the sub groups so the regions are originated in cooperation to you can say culture or you can say economic or you can say the political or you can say the military fields the regional acts are a subject with a distinct identity they have a distinct identity they have uh, they may have a distinct language they may have a distinct culture and they may have a distinct tradition so hum regionalism ko do tarike se le sakte hain यदि रीजनलिज्म लोगों को इंस्पायर करे और एक समझदारी अपनाने के लिए भाईचारा बनाने के लिए आगे बढ़ने का संकेत दे तो वो एक पॉजिटिव सेंस में हो वो एक एडवांटेजियस सेंस में होगा एडवांटेजियस सेंस में ये इसलिए होगा क्योंकि भाईचारा जब बनेगा यूनिटी जब बनेगी ब्रदरहुड जब बनेगा तो उस पर्टिकुलर रीजन के इंटरेस्ट जो हैं वो प्रमोट होंगे एज अ होल और ऑल अराउंड वेलफेयर एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पीपल कैन बी देयर और सिक्के का दूसरा पहलू जब एक्सेसिव अटैचमेंट हो जाए किसी को अपनी रीजन के साथ मातृभूमि भारत की बजाय वो उस जगह को समझे जहां वो जन्म लिया है तो ये पूरे भारत के लिए एक संकट है क्यों क्योंकि वो उस पर्टिकुलर रीजन के इंटरेस्ट को भारत के इंटरेस्ट के ऊपर रखकर चलेगा और ये हमारे यूनिटी और इंटीग्रिटी दोनों के लिए एक खतरा फॉर एग्जांपल 84 फोर 
1984 में जो दंगे हुए थे तो उस टाइम पे खालिस्तान की एक डिमांड उठी थी आज भी कहीं ना कहीं खालिस्तान की डिमांड उठ रही है चाहे पेस कम हो चाहे स्केल कम हो पर वो डिमांड जब उठती है यानी कि लोगों को अपने उस जगह जहां उस स्थान से जहां उन्होंने जन्म लिया उससे प्रेम ज्यादा है इन रिस्पेक्ट टू दी होलनेस वो सिर्फ एक उस रीजन से इंटरेक्ट होकर सोच रहे हैं और नेशन की इंटेग्रिटी को भी कई बार चैलेंज करने की सोच लेते हैं अब रीजनलिज्म इंडिया में जो है इट इज रूटेड इन इंडिया डाइवर्सिटी वी नो दैट इंडिया इज अ डाइवर्स कंट्री बिकॉज इट इज हैविंग डिफरेंट कल्चर ट्रेडिशन लैंग्वेजेस सो जब अलग अलग कल्चर अलग अलग लैंग्वेजेस अलग अलग हम कहें रिलीजन आएंगी तो रीजनलिज्म इज ऑब्वियस टू हैपन इन इंडिया सो रीजनलिज्म इज अ साइकोलॉजिकल आइडेंटिटी और आइडियोलॉजी यू कैन से एंड इट इज अ पॉलिटिकल यूज एज अ पॉलिटिकल मूवमेंट दैट सीक्स टू एडवांस द कॉजेस ऑफ रीजन किसी एक रीजन के लिए इतना भावुक हो जाना और इतना प्रेम इन मूवमेंट्स को जन्म देता अब बात करें तो रीजनलिज्म की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक uh, फीचर्स क्या होते हैं क्या चीजें हैं जो एक रीजनलिज्म को रीजनलिज्म बनाएंगी तो बेसिकली हमने ये सोचा कि ये सिर्फ एक दिमाग की सोच है साइकोलॉजिकल फिनोमिना है साइकोलॉजिकल बेस है साइकोलॉजिकल चीज है एक आइडियोलॉजी है इट इज बिल्ड अराउंड एज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ग्रुप आइडेंटिटी जिसको बना दिया जाता है एक ग्रुप की आइडेंटिटी आइडेंटिटी के तौर से और उनमें यह भावना पैदा करी जाती है कि यदि आप इस आइडियोलॉजी को फॉलो करोगे तभी आप लॉयल हो अपनी रीजन के लिए तो उन लोगों में यह भावना आती है कि अपनी रीजन का डेवलपमेंट जो है वो ध्यान में रखकर वो आगे बढ़े और ये कुछ ना सोचें कि बाकी रीजन के साथ क्या हो तो ये रीजनलिज्म जो है ये रोकती है लोगों को बाकी रीजन के फॉर एग्जांपल मान लीजिए दिस इज दी रीजन ए एंड दिस इज दी रीजन बी सो इन द रीजन ए देयर आर पीपल हु आर ऑफ दिस आइडियोलॉजी एंड दे जस्ट रेस्ट्रिक्ट दे वांट टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट द पीपल ऑफ रीजन बी फ्रॉम टेकिंग आउट एनी बेनिफिट फ्रॉम रीजन ए यहाँ से अगर मान लो नदी बह रही हो बी में से जा रही हो वो इसका रास्ता ब्लॉक कर देंगे कि हमारी रीजन के कोई भी रिसोर्सेस या किसी भी तरीके से फायदा बी को ना पहुंचे दिस इज वॉट रीजनलिज्म तो अगर हम रीजनलिज्म की स्टडी करें क्या रीजनलिज्म अभी आए या पहले से था तो बेसिकली रीजनलिज्म को स्टडी करने के लिए हम बिफोर और आफ्टर 1947 फोर्टी दैट इज बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस और आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस का समय देखेंगे ओरिजिन ऑफ रीजनलिज्म इन इंडिया इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मेनीफोल्ड डाइवर्सिटी इन द इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस इंडियन कल्चर इंडियन एथनिक ग्रुप्स इंडियन कम्युनिटीज एंड इंडियन रिलीजन एंड सो एंड इज एनकरेज बाई द रीजनल कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ दोज identity and uh, you can say they are their identity markets
for many countries india remained the land of many lands regions cultures and traditions the basic point that highlighted the respect is that internal self determination of the community to pre independence mein ya before 1947 ki agar hum baat kare to british empire building was started around the three uh, you can say regions of calcutta bombay and madras they acquired the territories of east west and south india they were gradually added to the uh, presidencies of bengal bombay and madras this uh, resulted in the formation of three original british indian provinces then the british formed bigger states during the first phase of empire building the uh, then you can say the bifurcation of the bigger states initiated to the second phase and then assam was the first state of uh, this kind when uh, the bigger states were then split into smaller states smaller phases the sole purpose of the britishers in the territorial reorganization and the formation of the new states they were doing was the advancement of the imperial interest and the efficient administration of these units the develop, development and welfare did not form the agenda of the british state any any way the due weightage was always given to the furtherance of the policy of divide and rule you just divide the people and you can rule them better so then coming to the post independence era, era Uh, or you can say after 1947 after the independence phase after independence the leaders tried to encourage a feeling of a uh, feeling among the people of uh, brotherhood they tried to inculcate the feeling that uh, we just belong to only one nation the framers of the constitution wanted to achieve this by including single citizenship for all there is one citizenship single citizenship we already discussed in the polity lectures but india is a complex country and keeping in this view uh, some uh, very some vastness and uh, diversity in culture and language a strong sense of regional loyalty and love started appearing and the re- uh, regionalism became inevitable from the indian uh, indian society you can say so during the 1950s and 1960s intense ethnic mass mobilization occurred in the south india for separate statehood uh, for Tel- uh, telugu speakers you can say out of the composite madras presidency then in the 1970s and 1980s the main aim of reorganization of the north eastern india the basis of reorganization uh, was tribal speaking and the separation of statehood the north eastern state reorganization bill was there then uh, if we see in 1990s demand for chatisgarh and uh, out of the mp Uh, jharkhand out of the bihar and uttarakhand out of the up was there regional backwardness was the reason then uh, we can say the division of andhra pradesh giving a separate state of telangana in 2014 so regionalism is a, a you can say is a moment is a state movement regionalism is a movement so we will study regionalism as a movement in uh, we can say if the positive sense we can uh, study the regionalism implies an idea of uh, searching the self identity of the people in a particular area it uh, in if we say it is the instead a separate demand for protecting and preserving the racial linguistic or you can say economic interest of a group of people belonging to nation 
रीजनलिज्म इज इन फैक्ट अ मूवमेंट ऑफ सब नेशनैलिटी अगेंस्ट अ प्रिवेलिंग सिंगल नेशनैलिटी इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टडी इन दी प्रेजेंट फॉर्म देर आर वेरियस यू कैन से कॉनोटेशन लाइक यू कैन से लोकलिज्म सन ऑफ दी सॉयल थ्यूरी एटसेट्रा एंड डिस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दी इंडियन स्टेट्स स्ट्रगल फॉर सेपरेट स्टेट हुड और प्रोविंशियल ऑटोनमी इज देयर सो इंडिया इज नॉट इनफिक्ट इनफ्लिक्टेड विद द रीजनल यू कैन से अपसर्च of different kinds of uh, geographical regionalism linguistic regionalism and uh, regionalism cult- which is in relation to you can say culture or ethnic regionalism and likewise so we can say there are uh, according to this we can just bifurcate the regionalism into three categories that is supra state inter state and intra state supra state regionalism is that point of time in this uh, kind of regionalism the group of uh, states they just join hands to take a common stand on the issue of mutual interest against some another group of states or at the time against uh, uh, the union so it is not an uh, uh, you can say instance of permanent merger of the state identities they just uh, act collectively even at the times of uh, intergroup uh, uh, you can say tensions or co- conflicts they may remain uh, between these states for example if we say the north eastern states of india may be said to have uh, possessed the supra state regionalism they are united and if we see in the inter state regionalism so in the interstate regionalism it involves the identities of one or more states against the another it is also an issue uh, we can say specifically this issue is highlighted because of the sub uh, because of their interest the dispute between the karnataka and uh, tamil nadu state over the uh, distribution of kaveri water is one of the example in this regionalism the next we can say many times uh, issues are seen on uh, between punjab and haryana in sharing water so uh, next we can say is the third type that is intra state regionalism the type of uh, regionalism uh, refers uh, when a part of the state strives for self identity and self development therefore it takes a uh, it in positive sense so if negatively we can think it uh, just militates against the collective interest of the state as well as the nation a small part of the state is standing against the state or the union the next we can say how regionalism occurs how just in regionalism happens to be there it is through manifestations separate flag or a state for each state could be there for example of karnataka son of the soil doctrine could be there the local reservation and the employments haryana karnataka goa andhra pradesh are the states which are providing this so interstate river water conflicts are there non cooperation between the states karnataka tamil nadu punjab haryana rejection of the new education policy over three languages formula present it was in tamil nadu diplomacy is there then we can say what there is violence against the migrated workers for example against the north east 
people from the northeast there is there are instances uh, when the violence against them is seen the bhojpuri films were not allowed to run in uh, the theaters of maharashtra palestani movement which aims to create a sikh homeland uh, from the state of punjab the linguistic reorganization of states the demand for the autonomy as we can say it was in delhi demand for the special category status so there is a regional perspective of the regionalism karnataka and tamil nadu uh, over the kaveri dispute we can say jharkhand and chatisgarh uh, built a lack of tribal development and uh, naxalist hotspot hai ye northeast india uh, a governance and autonomy issues आइडेंटिटी क्राइसिस है वहाँ पे आउटसाइडर्स इशू है वहाँ पे डेवलपमेंट डेफिसिट है वहाँ पे नॉर्थ वर्सेस साउथ इशू ऑफ हिंदू हिंदी लैंग्वेज इज देयर सो दी रीजनलिज्म कुड टेक मेनी फॉर्म्स इट कुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यू कैन से इट कुड बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सेपरेटिज्म सेपरेटिज्म वी कैन से इज अ डिमांड फॉर सेपरेट स्टेट हुड विद इन द इंडियन यूनियन दिस काइंड ऑफ सब रीजनलिज्म वॉज वेलीडेट वायलेट वॉज फर्स्ट वेलीडेटेड बाई द स्टेट री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स द मोस्ट रिसेंट एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से दैट इंक्लूड इन द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तराखंड झारखंड एंड छत्तीसगढ़ दो हजार चार में चौदह में तेलंगाना की डिमांड उठने पर फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ देन नेक्स्ट इन इज द डिमांड फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ बॉडोलैंड इन असम गोरखालैंड इन फॉर एथनिक गोरखास नेपाली पीपल इन द वेस्ट बंगाल एंड मेनी अदर फॉर एग्जांपल द डिमांड फॉर खालिस्तान एट्सेट्रा सो डिमांड फॉर फुल स्टेटहुड इज देयर full statehood uh, as they are for example in the state of uh, ncd uh, or you can say of delhi uh, the most of such demands have already been accepted in 1971 himachal pradesh got the status of uh, full state and uh, then after mizoram tripura uh, Miz, uh, manipur arunachal pradesh former nefa states jinko hum kehte hain and sikkim uh, got the full statehood the demand for the state autonomy Uh, they, for example, uh, the DMK in Tamil Nadu, Akali Dal in Punjab, Telugu, uh, Telugu uh, Desham Party in Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Assam Gana Parishad in Assam, National Conference in JNK and Forward uh, Block in West Bengal has been continuously demanding a larger share of the powers for the state. So uh, there could be many other things for uh, you can say. Uh, there is form of uh, regionalism that involves militant and fundamentalist group in uh, uh, advocating a separate from and they are advocating for the uh, separation of themselves from india for example in jnk we have seen the demand for a regional autonomy within a state can also occur so uh, the re- in some of the states for example in jnk and ladakh are demanding a regional status so there are many reasons for this there are many reasons for this uh, the reasons for the regionalism could be uh, on the lines of geographical factor uh, if when we see the territorial orientation based on the geographical boundaries uh, they are uh, they relate to the inhabitants of a particular region which are symbolic at least of the indian context because of the linguistic distribution among the uh, geographical boundaries the topographic and the climatic variation along with differences in the settlement pattern is where tribal people are living uh, in uh, geographical area so there are factors factors that are responsible for regional uh, regionalism in india the historical factor is there in indian scenario the historical as well as uh, the cultural uh, uh, factors are considered to be prime components of the phenomena 
of regionalism ancient face of hit history uh, we can see in the british rule even we can see there is a regionalism there was a policy of divide and rule so the regionalism is uh, very old in india they had a historical and cultural components interpret uh, you can say regionalism by way of cultural heritage uh, the by myths by symbolism and uh, many more people of the particular culture group also derive inspirations from the uh, noble deeds and uh, glorious achievements of their local heroes so the cultural and religious factors are there uh, in southern india we can say have a dravidian culture where in itself regions of many regions is ev eventually evidently uh, we can say different from the north uh, or northwest or we can see the central or the northeast uh, part of the country even in the east of india there are different uh, there is difference from the northeast so uh, comprising today the seven uh, constituent units of indian federation which are the largest uh, concentration of tribal population there is uh, there are many past traditions that are followed there is caste and uh, uh, in region we can say the caste uh, system and religion in indian society play only a marginal role in uh, causing regionalism only when the caste is combined with linguistic a uh, uh, factor or religion it may cause it may cause the re regional feeling otherwise it has a very very you can say very uh, slight or a marginal role to play so uh, there are economic factor at present there are uh, uh, uneven development in the different parts of the country so uh, some of the regions are very much developed and uh, some of the regions are under developed you can say <coughs> so there is an even development in the different parts of the country that may be construed as the prime reason for the regionalism and separatism some of the people may think that they are uh, uh, not uh, they are under privileged so economic policies have led to a regional imbalance uh, in the country so political administrative factors could uh, be there political parties especially the regional political parties as well as the local leaders they exploit the regional uh, sentiments and regional uh, deprivation and convert them into to solidify solidify their their uh, support for their self interest they give place to the regional problems to their election uh, manifesto so they are just using these things Uh, there could be linguistic factor india has 20 22 of the official languages and uh, there are many other languages hindi uh, is considered to be the uh, has been uh, which is uh, the constitution to be promoted as a lingu lingua uh, franca we can say indian government after independence has made efforts to promote hindi but there has been uh, widespread agitation against the uh, move from the non hindi speakers uh, the anti hindi uh, agitation in the southern states is there there is scarcity of resources due to the scarcity of resources which is shared by two or more regions uh, the region uh, from which the resources are shared by the other region they Uh, they just uh, try to hinder they just uh, try uh, they just feel that uh, the resource could be available for them only why they are uh, sharing why they are under uh, some obligation to share the resources for example the kaveri dispute so the ethnic factors this uh, factor could be there uh, india has uh, many ethnic differences that are formed on the base of the demand for political autonomy and uh, secession uh, example is based on their ethnic identity you can say nagas in the uh, uh, nagas of nagaland are demanding a separate nation so this is why the regionalism uh, still persists in india we can say the regionalism still persists in india or not we uh, we can say of these reasons the regionalism still persists in india the rate of the economic growth uh, and with respect to the high population growth the economic growth has been not enough to catch the development with the full uh, speed so uh, there are economic crises many times 
दर इज सोशो इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द स्टेट रिलेटिव फेलियर ऑफ लैंड रिफॉर्म्स इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्टेट्स कुड बी सीन द फ्यूटल मेंटेलिटी इज स्टिल प्रोसेस्ड इन देयर सो द लोअर लेवल ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फैसिलिटीज और द बैकवर्ड स्टेट्स वी कैन से the level of infrastructure development are still the irrigation facilities the power distribution are a state subject uh, so because of them being a state subject uh, there is no equal development in every state there is a difference in uh, infrastructure facilities there is low level of social expenditure by the states uh, education on health and uh, sanitation so there are political and uh, administrative failures also the son of the soil doctrine we will discuss in detail the international examples of uh, regionalism uh, that are in uk there are regional aspirants in uh, south uh, scotland uh, also so there are we can say there are both positive as well as uh, the negative impact uh, on india too so yeah if we say on the linguistic lines there is a regionalism in india the majority of the population is speaking hindi but but the uh, because of the promotion of hindi agitation could be seen from the uh, non hindi speakers too so uh, we can say the there are some positive and negative factors uh, that impact of regionalism are there people are happy the uh, bulb is glowing because of the regionalism and some are unhappy because of the negative factors so the positive and uh, negative are both there if we see the negatives uh, internal security challenges are there uh, it impacts the politics as days of the uh, coalition government and uh, alliances are taking place so the policies uh, the manifesto the government manifesto is uh, regionalism is taking part in the it is taking place in the manifesto so violence is very popular character of the regionalism uh, there is a, then we can say impact on ease of doing of business because of the regionalism people do not want to uh, trade with the people of other regions then uh, we can say it can be uh, exploited and used for the political leverage so it can be used by the uh, anti national factors too but if we see the positive ones uh, it gives uh, increasing uncertainty in the uh, contemporary globalized world uh, regionalism has become a source of identity among the people it also helps in the economic development of the backward regions it have, have brought uh imbalanced regional development uh, and regional issues to focus on the opportunity to solve them uh, without regionalism it could not have happened that uh, why they are demanding if the root cause problem is solved then the all round development could be achieved it can lead to inter group solidarity in the specific regions uh, so uh, some positive factors are also there so uh, uh, we have got done with the uh, here the son of the soil theory here the son of the soil theory is there so it has been uh, discussion since 1950 and uh, we can say explains in the form of regionalism according to the son of the soil theory states mainly belong to the major linguistic group and happening so uh, the soil or the local resident local residents who are born there are called the son of the soil uh, so uh, why the son of the soil theory is there a competition for the job between the migrant and the local educated middle class youth uh, has always remained the theory of the son of the soil works mostly in the cities Uh, that uh, outsiders or migrant people also get an same opportunity they get the same opportunity of education of uh, employment due to the rising aspiration the significant involvement of people takes place for the young workforce the economic failure to create enough employment so uh, for example the job reservation for the local in the private sector in andhra pradesh uh, and goa uh, is seen as the son of the soil theory 
so the anti migrant or implementation of the sons of the soil doctrine was the movement led by shiv sena and uh, mns uh, in the regional character so uh, the demand for the uh, we can say there are many other uh, forms of uh, regionalism the demand for khalistan uh, as a separate uh, theocratic country for the sake have the origin in 1940s due to the fear of being reduced into a minority after the partition of the pakistan the separatist movement that reached the zenith in 1970 and 1980 was increasing funds from the outside india next is the demand for the dravida nadi and uh, there have been many demands including the creation of uh, borderland for the border speakers in assam gurkha land and other ethnic gurkhas uh, uh, or nepali people in the west bengal and likewise so the there are many other constitutional provisions uh, that deal with the uh, you can say national unity and integrity on uh, in relation to we can say the regionalism or in answer to regionalism there is freedom of speech and expression article 19 to express uh, uh, express the regional priorities and uh, criticize the government if the region is being neglected the fifth and sixth schedule preserve the tribal identity article 38 which is the dpsp to deal with the inequality uh, inequality in income status and opportunity among the individ individuals and regions schedule 7 is the division of power between the center and state to give me a more regional autonomy uh, at the 8th schedule recognize different regional languages as the constitution in the constitution of india article 79 and 80 provisions uh, on the rajya sabha and uh, council of states the article 368 uh, amendment procedure for the uh, having ratification by half of the states if an amendment is affecting federalism so government uh, has taken many uh, efforts to protect the integrity of the nation to uh, answer to counter the regionalism factor uh, which are listed here the their the government of india has constituted the interstate council under article 263 uh, then next is the backward regions uh, grant fund as there then next is the pradhan mantri uh, khanej Chetra Kalyani Yojana is there, the State Reorganization Act in 1956, uh, then the State Reor uh, the Northeastern State Reorganization Act of 1971, the creation of new states by taking economic and uh, administrative uh, viability into account, uh, that was in the case of Telangana, plan assistance to the backward states, the backward areas and development program, public investment uh, in uh, industries such as steel, fertilizers, oil, etc., uh, petroleum, irrigation, and uh, Indira, Gandhi, Indira Gandhi canal projects. The government uh, incentives have been provided to the private sector to invest in the backward areas. Uh, the new institutional structures, uh, for example, the Niti Aayog, the GST Council to ensure fiscal federalism, cultural connect and uh, student exchange program is there. Then Ek Bharat, Bharat Shrest Bharat Scheme, National Register for Citizens of Assam Government and uh, the National Integration Council, the Northeastern Council which was set up in 1971 to provide a form, uh, forum for interstate uh, coordination. Then uh, the representation in regional parties in the parliamentary, uh, the interstate council to resolve issues of common interest. Uh, then next special status to the Indian constitution set up and then uh, next is special category states to uh, economically economically backward uh, states in uh, that is the hilly and border uh, states were there so uh, there is a difference in the three terms regionalism federalism and nationalism so if we see the difference between the regionalism and uh, uh, if we see the difference between the regionalism and uh, federalism uh, we just have to go into past we can observe that there have been a continuous demand for respecting the federal feature of the indian political system moreover there is also a demand for the decentralization of the resources and parts both for the state level and the grassroots level 
divergent ethnic identity identities and their continuous struggle for the more autonomy as expressed in the demand for the separate statehood and themselves within the federal system then that was the federalism is seen here as a social equilibrium which results from the appropriate balance between the share rule shared rule and the self rule as there so there is a balance there is manner of uh, accommodation the uh, you can say it is for the better and able to accommodate uh, ethnically uh, distinct distinct uh, regions uh, a two tier federalism may not be sufficient to accommodate uh, regionalism in many forms and levels a tier before the states uh, or provinces with appropriate constitutional uh, guarantees may be necessary so the federalism is totally a different it is uh, creating a balance between or it is creating a scale of balance uh, in the units the next is the, the regionalism we know and next is about the nationalism nationalism is a sense of belonging to one nation on the other hand regionalism is the sense of belonging to one region regionalism put the regional priority above the national priority while a nation tries to establish harmony uh, the uh, regionalism glorifies the heritage of unity of one particular region formation of multiple communities uh, are led by regionalism within one nation so when nation, nationalism is as a whole and regionalism is a part of it so this is how we can differentiate between them uh, these are the previous year question asked by the upsc in in some of the examinations so Discuss whether the formation of new states in recent times is beneficial or uh, not for the economy of India. A simple one. What is the basis of uh, regionalism? Is uh, it that unequal distribution of benefits of development on regional? We have discussed. Uh, basis eventually, uh, uh, basically, uh, the two and three are a single question. The growing feeling of the uh, basis eventually promotes regionalism. That is substantiate your answer the next question question number three which is numbered four here uh, the growing feeling of regionalism is as essential factor as in the generation of demand for a separate state uh, again the same one the uh, has the formation of linguistic states strengthened the cause of indian unity basically the content content of every question here uh, is almost same you just have to change the wordings or adjust the uh, start and the ending accordingly so this was uh, all for today's lecture uh, we are done with the topic of the indian society so thank you i hope all of you have enjoyed the series thank you have a nice day